Okay, so this is exciting. Um, you can't see me. <laughs> I got a tripod. I got this um, swing arm tripod um, that I can... Okay, so this is exciting. Uh, you can't see me because I got a new tripod. I got a swing arm tripod that is clamped to my desk. And I'm going to, this is my very first video I've tried to do with it. I'm sharing it with you guys. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw here on this blank piece of paper um, a little bit about book marketing, the book marketing cycle. So here we have a book. Let's say this is your very first book. Um, your author name, author name. So let's say this is your very first book that you've ever written um, and nobody knows about it. So grab a different color. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to tell people about the book. Tell, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that light blue. This might not work, but we'll test it. Tell people. So this is like direct hand selling. Direct and selling. If you printed paperbacks and you went to a local trade show, this would be direct hand selling. And it works in ebooks too. You post a link on Facebook and you tell some people, hey, I have this book out. It's available ebook from Amazon, from Apple Books, from Kobo, and some people buy it. The important thing to understand about direct hand selling is that direct hand selling, you get some sales of the book right, from a cold audience, because they've never read anything by you before. But of those people, you may not retain very many of them. Uh, let's say, let's say for every 10 that you a direct hand sell, you retain one or two people. Retain. And ways that you can retain people is they might follow you on social media. or join a mailing list. And this over here now is a group of, and I'm left-handed, so I'm about to cross the paper. These are warm audiences. So we have cold audiences on this side who have not yet experienced your book and out the other side if they read your book and they like it and you're able to retain them they become a warm audience now let's say that you put out the next book book two by you again you can direct hand sell book two but you will also sell book two to your warm audience, perhaps by sending an email to the mailing list that they joined or posting on social media. And so here you have now, the more books you put out, every time you release a book, you have an opportunity to sell it to a cold audience, but you also have an audience, uh, you have the opportunity to sell it to a warm audience, which then creates kind of like this double opportunity, right? You're pitching to readers who already like you, they're even more likely to buy it than a, than a cold audience. But you must still do things on this side of the marketing equation to constantly keep growing your audience. Audience growth. Because you will not retain everybody in this warm audience forever. All right? So that is um, a very brief overview of a cycle that we're gonna come back to over and over again after I test this overhead camera thing, see if it worked out really well. So things in future videos that we will cover, audience growth, what are all the different options there? And also ways to get creative in retaining your warm audience and keeping them interested in between books because there can be a span of time there. So, all right, I'm gonna watch this video and if it worked out at all, I'm going to post it. And if you like it, hit the subscribe button because then I will do more of this because I'm having a lot of fun and I hope 
that you two, that you two, well, I hope that there are more than two of you watching this. I hope that you are all having um, a little bit of fun in this moment of uncertainty and chaos. Um, and I think that, you know, once we're past this pandemic, I may have to go back and like edit out all my mentions to it on these videos. But for now, it is quite the relief to know that I'm connected to some of you here on YouTube. So thank you so much for being a part of my very first overhead video test. And uh, we will, we will get better at this. Yes, we will. Thank you so much for joining me.